Welcome to Excel Magic number 1144. If you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have three amazing examples of the text function. Now, if you read the screen tip, it'll tell you exactly what the text function does converts a value to text in a specific number format. Now, you got to know custom number formatting before you can use the text function. Now, I have done uh, quite an epic video on everything about custom number formatting and the text function. But in this video, I want to show you the three coolest uses for text. Here, we need to go from a date to a three-letter abbreviation for month. Here we have time in ISO format. We need to actually get a real serial number time. And here we have ISO dates, and we need to go to a real serial date. Now, there are other ways to do all of these, especially the date and the time one. But the text function really is the most efficient if you're going to use a formula. This one, however, there's lots of ways to do this too, especially if you have criteria over here. But we'll start with trying to fill a column with not the serial number dates, but with SEP for September, OCT for October. Now, let's look at the custom number formatting we're going to need for this one here. Hey, there's a date. Control-1 to open up format cells, down to custom. And here in the type box, if I type M, that'll give me the month without a leading 0. Two M's, that's a month with leading 0. Three M's gives me the three-letter abbreviation. And boom, four gives us the whole month. Backspace and Enter. So that's just a facade, right? SEP is not in the cell. You can see up here, there is the serial number. If we were to wipe away the number formatting with General or Control-Shift tilde, hey, the serial number's still there, Control-Z. Right, number formatting to display it different. Now we're going to use number formatting in the text to actually convert from serial number to text. Equals TEX, the value, boom. And actually, that value can be text or a number, comma, and in double quotes, MMM, in double quote. There's our custom number formatting. But here, it's not displaying something differently like here. It, it's actually going to convert it. So now we're going to double click and send this down. And sure enough, we have created a helper column with three months abbreviation using text. Now let's look at our next example. Click on the sheet for text for time. Here we're given times, and they're showing up as text. We need to convert them to actual serial number times. Now let's look at, because we're going to use the text function, let's look at the custom number formatting that we're going to use. Control-1, and we go down to Custom. In the type, type 0, 0, 0, and watch. Nothing has changed so far, but as soon as I type that fourth one, that's a method of displaying numbers with lead zeros. Again, with custom number formatting in the cells, that 645 we see up in the formula bar will still be in the cell, but we're displaying it differently. Now, that's not quite what we want. We want that colon for time. So check this out. There's a special character. It is the backslash. The backslash tells custom number formatting that whatever one character I type next, in this case, colon, it will show up. Now, I could put a, a U there, right? And it shows up in the custom number formatting, but that's not what I want. Colon. Click OK. And sure enough, that's what we want. So let's come over here, and boom, you're not going to believe this text. The value, one cell to my left, in double quotes, 0, 0, backslash, colon, 0, 0, and double quotes, close parentheses, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Now, we have a visual cue here. That is a line to the left. That means it is not showing up as actual numbers. It is text. F2 to, to put the top cell in edit mode. I'm going to do some math operation on the number. Anytime you have numbers stored as text and you want to convert them back to actual numbers, do some math operation. I'm going to use plus 0. I have my formula in edit mode in the top cell. So to populate this edited formula all the way down, I'm going to hold Control and Enter. And sure enough, there are my serial numbers. If I were to use Control Shift tilde, no way. That is the proportion of one 24-hour day 
That's the serial number we need for time, for time, math, and calculations, control Z. Now let's go over to text for date and see our third awesome example. Now let's go over to social security number, control one. And if you never noticed, there's an awesome special category. You could use zip code, phone number. We're going to check out social security. I can see it's already doing something fancy up there. Click OK. So that'll work, but now, control one. Here's a great trick. If you choose anything up here, general, or sorry, number, currency, county, date, time, percentage, even in one of these specials, if you want to see what the custom number format is, now click on custom, and boom, it'll tell you exactly what you need. Now, I'm going to not copy and scoop this because it wouldn't quite work, but if I was doing a social security number, I could actually use this. But I'm going to notice that there's dashes and zeros. All right, I'm going to click OK. Let's come here, Control-1, Custom. And now what do we want over here? 1, 2, 3, 4, that's year. 1, 2, that's month. 1, 2, that's day. So 1, 2, 3, 4, dash, 1, 2, dash, 1, 2. That will display it. Actually, it won't display it because that is text. And these, this number formatting is for numbers. But now if I come down here and go 20130415. 20 Control 1. 1234-12-12. One, two, one, two. Click OK. And look at that. Now it's displaying. I have my speak cells on enter. I should turn that off. Now we can come over here, equals text. One, two, three cells to my left, comma, and in double quotes. One, two, three, four, dash, one, two, dash, one, two, and double quotes, close parentheses, control enter. Expand the column and check it out. It's aligned the wrong way. F2, any math operation will convert a text number back to a number. I'm going to plus zero, control enter. Check that out. The serial number, I love seeing the serial numbers because now I can build pivot tables and group by dates and all sorts of amazing things. I'm going to come up, put short date, double click and send it down. Wow, that's a big data set. That was kind of slow control down arrow. Wow, that's 125,000 rows. Control home. Now in this last example for awesome uses for the text function, hey, I want to build a pivot table because, hey, we had to go from date stored as text in ISO standard into a serial number date. Well, of course, we do that because we need the serial date to do things in Excel. Now I'm going to build a pivot table, and I don't want the same two field names, so I'm going to call this date extract, because we got this from a database and it imported it like that. This is dates. Click in a single cell, insert, pivot table, or the keyboard Alt-N-V. Now the default is on a new sheet, so I'm going to hit Enter. That blue highlighted button always means if you hit Enter, it will enact it. And that's true in almost all dialog boxes. Now let's get dates extracted. No, no, not that one. This one, and drag it down to rows. Boom, serial number. So now we can simply right click group. And I could see right there how many years there are. So I'm going to have to do months and years. Click OK. And just like that, I've grouped by dates. Now I can go calls made, values. That is amazing. Look at that. We have all of our numbers from 125,000 rows. Now, one, two, three things still left to do for our pivot table. I do not like row labels. I want a field name, so I'm going to come up to Design, Report Layout, Show in Tabular. I want to have some number formatting here. I'm going to right click and either go down to Value Field Settings, or if it's just number formatting, I pick this one. Do not pick Format Cells. We want number formatting, and then we can pick something like comma with no decimals, because this is counting whole numbers. Click OK. The final thing is this sheet name. That's a terrible sheet name. I'm going to double click and I'm going to call it Pivot Table 1. Enter. Wow, that is amazing. And our text function helped us to go from ISO dates to serial number dates. Back here, we saw the text function. Oh, from text to actual serial number times. And look at this, one, two, three amazing uses. Here we went from actual serial numbers to some text. The text function is totally awesome. Knowledge of a little bit of custom number formatting, and boom, you can do some amazing things with text. All right, we'll see you next video.